confusion reigns at City Hall. This is not good. But it's true. Confusion is reigning on us, thanks to you. Oh, I think they mean confusion reigns with an EI, like a king. Spin it any way you want. It's still raining. You told me to lie. I meant to do it successfully. Obviously, the thing for me to do is to step down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Are you a quitter, Claire? No, ordinarily I... I need you to stay on this job and fix this problem. And I know you have the talent and wisdom to do so. Thank you. I appreciate your confidence in me. And after you fixed it, I want you to quit. Are you gonna gloat? I already did that at home. Think I got it out of my system? Okay, maybe just a little. You really damned yourself on this one. You're right. I should have been up front from the beginning. Alan wants me to fix this mess, but I don't know if I can. Were you just giving up? Now you're double Dan in it. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, I know what you tell me to do. Stand up and admit you made a mistake. You're right. I don't give you enough credit. No? You really are starting to seem mayoral. Thanks, Claire. How much for the takeout? 3740. Is this the place? Dan wants to reach out to all parts of the community. Advantaged, disadvantaged, abandoned. Where's Dan? I guess he's late. You know what? Why don't we do this at your office? But I came all the way down here. Yeah, that's no problem. No, I said I came to you. And we can come to you now, so it's fair. Hey, where are you going? Come here. Sorry I'm late. Uh, big meeting at City Hall. Great. Why don't we go around the corner for coffees? No, I brought coffees. Even better, that'll save time when we go to the coffee shop. Uh, come on in. Watch yourself. Now I'm a guy who never took much interest in politics. But then I realized, excuse me. I realized that running the city is a job, like running the bar. So why not put... I'm gonna need another book. Uh, how long have you been in these offices? Oh, we just moved in. Obviously, there's some work to do. And this is how you intend to run government? Oh, well, I'm, I'm not sure. The office isn't really where we no, want no, to run. I like it. Cut down to the bone. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, then, yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, that's how we intend to run government, with uh, buckets. You're getting an A+. Plus. Awesome. A+, plus is uh, better than an A. Yeah, like a report card. Exactly, yeah. I know you all have questions about this computer deal. Uh, I believe in openness. And that is why I will be happy to answer any questions you may have at this time. Was there ever a secret deal to buy these computers? And here to answer that question is my campaign manager. Let's hear what she has to say. Thank you. I just want to start by saying that there were mistakes made yesterday. Actually, I made a mistake. Why would your fiancé make a big show about dropping a deal that you just denied? Didn't you talk about it beforehand? No, we didn't talk about it beforehand. Really? No, we, we never really talk. <clears throat> the point is, um, I made a mistake, and today I want to take full responsibility. Don't you think the fact that you and Mike never really talk, your words, not mine, speaks to overall problems in your relationship? Um, well, no. And if you guys can't talk about something like this, how are you ever gonna communicate on the bigger issues? This really isn't the time or place for this discussion. <laughs> Do you really think Mike and I have problems? Definitely. I agree with that. But the wedding's only a, a couple weeks away. What do you think I should do? That was fantastic. I mean, going out there, making the story about how you have no communication in your relationship. Yeah, well, I didn't exactly. <laughs> Humiliating yourself. And Mike, I mean, you were pathetic. It was brilliant. Thank you. I, I guess I can quit now. Well, well, what are you talking about? I can't let you go. Keep your friends close and your enemies even closer. So I'm your enemy? No, well, you're my friend. That's why I want to keep you close. Thank you, I guess. <laughs> you were naked up there. It was the saddest thing I've ever seen. It's not just me, everybody's saying so. I keep giving you a hard time about this place, but it is your campaign and it did work out. So I got you an office warming gift. It's a bucket. Thanks, that means a lot.
Can we get out of here now? Absolutely. Pack my stuff. I never want to see this place again. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I lost count. One. The forks are all there. Well, we don't want another mistake like the last time. You didn't have enough forks? We had one too many. Now, where was I? Five. You were at five. One. OK, stop. I know what you're doing, and it's enough. I'm not delivering food here anymore. And I'm not standing around while you count coins or forks or whatever. Well, I'm sorry. I don't want to be short forked. You know what? I'll pick up the tab. Your meal today is a gift from the Dan Phillips for Mayor campaign. Really? Yeah, tip of the hat between campaign. Oh, look at that. New idea. We go Dutch. <laughs>